Okay, the last main topic for this session is the Messages app. And we're all familiar with the Messages app. We've got our list of messages here, and we can swipe up to see other people that we've sent text messages to. We can swipe back down to get to the top. You can see that new in iOS 14 is the ability to pin people uh, to the top of your message list. Okay, so I've pinned a number of people and groups, uh, the people that I message most often. Okay, I'll show you how to do that in just a second, but just to go over the real basics of the message app, you can always tap on one of these conversations to let you see all of the messages in that conversation, right? I'm going to tap the little arrow in the top left corner to go back. And at the very top of the screen, I have the search box. So I can tap in the search box. And if I wanted to uh, maybe text one of my friends, I just type his name up there. And uh, you can see that I've I've got the people in the top row, and then I've got different conversations where I've mentioned uh, Chad's name. Okay, so I'm going to cancel out of that and go back to the main messages screen. Okay, so now that I'm back here on the screen, I'm going to go into Joan's message because I know Joan is still awake so I can text her and it, it won't be a problem. When I want to write a message, I just tap in the box that says I message or message. And you're familiar with typing your message, right? So I can just type uh, type a couple of mess messages here and click the blue arrow to send that message. <clears throat> But what you might not be familiar with is in the bottom of my screen on the on the bottom right corner is a microphone. And that microphone allows me to dictate and type. that it didn't quite get it right, but it's close enough, so I'm just gonna hit the send button. A new feature in one of the, the latest versions of iOS is also the ability to swipe your finger on the keyboard to type. So instead of tapping the letters, you can actually swipe whole words. So I'm gonna swipe the, a, a phrase like, this is how I type. So I'm going to just swipe my finger over this and go, T-H-I-S, this, I-S, H-O-W. So I'm just swiping my finger over the letters. Okay, and I'm typing. And you can see that Sometimes it doesn't get the word right, but if I kind of bounce bounce my finger onto the different letters, it will actually do a better job of swiping to type, okay? So those are a couple of different ways that you can get your message into the app besides just typing. You can dictate or you can swipe your finger on the keyboard. Okay, here, Joan's telling me about this session, so she's got some great ideas here. Okay, um, the next thing I want to show you is how to send a photo. So right below the message box, you've, you see all those little
bubbles. And the bubble on the far left is photos. So if I tap on the photos bubble, it brings up recent photos. So this will be the last 100 photos. And you can see most of these are screenshots that I've been taking uh, as, as we're making handouts and things. Uh, but let's see, let me find a good photo. It says photos, but I've got a lot of video in there as well, yeah. So here's a photo of my son, so I can tap on that, and it'll just insert that into the uh, box here. Okay, and now that the photo is there, I can just hit the, the blue upward arrow and send that photo. Okay, to get out of the photos and to get back to typing messages, I just have to type in the message box there. 